Exclusive Contract from Felu Novel Network Novel Zombie World Abandoned Disciple of Mao Shan, sign in at the beginning of Qi Yu Magic Skill, Qin Lan was reborn in the zombie world and fortunately descended into a warlord family. He had no worries about food and clothing since childhood, but was sent to Mao Shan to learn magic skills from a young age. Ku Qin Lan was publicly expelled from his sect and became an abandoned disciple of Mao Shan due to his practice of evil magic. At this moment, a divine level selection system finally arrived. Choose one, leave the school smoothly, and reward the ancient secret technique. Yin Yang Puppet Technique Option 2 Plead for mercy, plead with the master to keep oneself and reward the secret script of the Chasing Corpse Sect. Dot. Refining Corpse Decision. Dot. Choose three and make a vow, stating that in the future, the Mao Shan sect will come to their doorstep to plead for their help and reward Qi Yu's magic technique. The Demon Road Classic. Several years later, the ghosts and demons opened up, and many demons surrounded the Mao Shan sect putting the Mao Shan sect at risk. The leader of Mao Shan said, quickly. Please ask Qin Lan to come back, only he can save the Mao Shan sect. Lin Jiu said bitterly, dot. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. 001 Abandoned Disciple of Mao Shan what is a demon? What is the way? Dot. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Mao Shan sect. Inside the main hall, there is a sense of oppression and solemnity. Numerous disciples stood on both sides of the hall, gazing at the inside. Some furrowed their eyebrows, some secretly rejoiced, and even showed a look of schadenfreude. Qin Lan, these are all over. Daring to practice magic within the Mao Shan sect is really killing him. He was originally talented, and as long as he performs well, he may be able to compete for the position of leader. Shi Jian, don't talk nonsense. Qin Lan's senior brother is just having a hot head, which is why he touched the taboo of our sect. As long as Qin Lan's senior brother can understand his mistake, he will change it. He will no longer practice the art of magic in the future. I believe his master will forgive him. Lin Jiu, don't forget that when we were apprenticed, our master had warned us that if anyone cultivates the art of evil spirits, they will expel their sect. Is it because Qin Lan has innate intelligence that our master can let him go? Brothers and gentlemen, please stop arguing. What's going on with brother Qin Lan? Master, it's up to you to make a decision. Ahem, master is here. Looking for the sound, an old man wearing a dark grey Taoist robe and holding a brush walked slowly to the center of the hall. He is the current leader of the Mao Shan sect. Lei Emo, with the Taoist name Lingxu. At this moment, although he had white hair, his voice was full of vitality. Someone, lead the rebellious disciple Qin Lan to the palace. Yes, master. Yes, master. Then, a handsome young man with sword eyes and starry eyebrows, exuding a commanding aura, arrived at the palace with a large golden sword. Qin Lan has met his master. Extraordinary speech and dignified demeanor. In fact, he is a traveler who travels through the zombie world and is fortunate to be born into a warlord family, with no worries about food and clothing since childhood. When he was young, his father, who was a warlord commander, sent him to the Mao Shan sect, hoping that he could learn a skill and have the ability to protect himself in this world dominated by warlords and zombies. He also lived up to his father's trust, and due to his innate intelligence, he far surpassed other senior brothers in just a few years. Mao Shan Taoism He also has 9 out of 10 mastery. Not only that, I am also extremely interested in ancient Chinese characters and study ancient texts and books alone in the library. But who could have foreseen that while delving into ancient books, they discovered a fragmented set of spells and mnemonics in the dark layers of ancient books. This technique, which can be hidden in the dark layer of ancient books, is definitely not simple. Qin Lan was curious about this and practiced according to incomplete techniques. 
With the practice, the originally majestic and righteous Mao Shan magic became incredibly black and domineering. This is a sign of the transition from Tao to demon. Qin Lan didn't take it seriously either. Because, since he practiced this incomplete spell, his strength can be said to have made rapid progress. Under the catalysis of magical energy, the power of the previously practiced techniques has also increased significantly. Under such temptation, one increases their cultivation even more. As the saying goes, there is no impermeable wall in the world. Not long ago, while practicing magic skills, I happened to be bumped into by my master, which led to the scene in front of me. As the words fell, Ling Xu master glared angrily and scolded coldly, Rebel disciple, you know your sin. Qin Lan. Talent and intelligence. He was originally his most proud disciple. But who could have foreseen that the other party was practicing magic techniques, which made him, as the leader of a prestigious and upright Maoshan sect, feel ashamed. If this spreads to the outside world, it will definitely make other sects laugh at it. Regarding the master's questioning, Qin Lan remained calm and said, Master, what crime did I commit? As the saying goes, the demonic way does not stand at odds. As a disciple of Mao Shan, you practice the demonic way technique. Do you still not know your guilt? Master, what is demon? What is Tao? Demons are bloodthirsty, primarily responsible for killing and attacking, sacrificing themselves to the heavens. The techniques of the demonic way are unacceptable, while the Tao is vast and enduring, mainly focused on relieving the heavens, cultivating oneself and nurturing one's character, in order to prove the way of longevity. After finishing speaking, Ling Xu Dao looked at Qin Lan with a resentful expression, Why? Do you still want to argue with me today? Qin Lan shook her head and said, I dare not, as the master himself said, Demon is bloodthirsty. So, am I bloodthirsty? Um, as soon as these words were spoken, the hall suddenly fell into silence. Ling Xu Taoist was stunned and stopped. Because Qin Lan did not show any signs of bloodthirsty behavior. Then Qin Lan continued, Master also personally said, The demon lord kills and sacrifices to the heavens, and the magic of the demon path is unacceptable. So, may I ask, have I ever harmed a disciple of the Maoshan sect? May I ask, have you ever practiced the art of cruelty and amputation? Excuse me, disciple. I was ordered by my teacher to help the villages near Maoshan sect subdue zombies and evil spirits. The techniques I used were all magic techniques. Is there any mistake in this? Three questions in a row. The voice is resounding and powerful, making a resounding sound. At this moment, inside the main hall, it was as clear as a fallen needle. Many disciples have no words to refute, whether you look at me or I look at you. Because what senior brother Qin Lan said is true. This is indeed not wrong. At this moment, the elderly face of Ling Xu Taoist was uncertain, and he sighed helplessly. Indeed. Qin Lan has never done anything that would harm heaven or reason. But since ancient times, the demonic ways have not been at odds. Eliminating demons and defending the way has been his persistent belief. Now, his most proud disciple practices demonic skills, which goes against his beliefs. This also makes him hate iron for not turning into steel. But the fact has happened, which cannot be changed. Moreover, if Qin Lan is insisted on staying in the sect, and this matter spreads to other sects, it will definitely cause various sects to suppress it. Where does this make the Maoshan sect stand? According to the rules of the sect, when practicing magic skills, one should discard their cultivation and drive them down the mountain. It can be considered that behind Qin Lan is the Grand Marshal of Zhongzhou. If Qin Lan's cultivation is abolished, it will inevitably lead to General Zhongzhou. At that time, he will lead his troops to besiege the Maoshan sect, and this consequence cannot be borne. After comprehensive consideration, Qin Lan could only be safely driven down the mountain. Only in this way is the best way to solve this matter. Qin Lan, don't argue. As a teacher, I have decided to immediately go down the mountain from today on. 
In the future, I will never allow anyone to step near the Maoshan sect. Otherwise, I will regard you as a demon and kill you. As soon as these words were spoken, Lin Jiu, a disciple of Mao Shan, took a step forward and knelt on one knee in front of the Lingxu Taoist. He hurriedly said, Master, what Qin Lan's senior brother said is true. Please be magnanimous and not hold anyone accountable. Yes, Master. Qin Lan, senior brother, is talented and intelligent. In the future, he will lead the disciples of Mao Shan towards the glory of the past. At this moment, his four-eyed eyes also took a step forward, pleading. Just as the disciples of Mao Shan pleaded for Qin Lan's mercy, Qin Lan couldn't help but chuckle lightly. At this moment, the sound of the system echoed in his mind. Ding, considering the host's current situation, we hereby activate the Divine Level Selection System. 002 Divine Selection System, Magic Scripture Seeking Collection you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Hmm. God Level Selection System. Upon hearing this, Qin Lan's eyes narrowed slightly, revealing a knowing smile. The system is a welfare for travelers. I thought he hadn't been taken care of by the system, and he was sensible from a young age without seeing any signs of system activation. Now, the system is activated and my heart is excited. Just as he was pondering to himself, a huge screen appeared before his eyes. Divine Level Selection System Choose one, hold a grudge in your heart, swear to lead troops to destroy Mao Shan, and reward the ancient secret technique. Yin Yang Puppet Technique Option two, plead for mercy, plead with the master to keep oneself and reward the secret script of the Chasing Corpse Sect. Dot. Refining Corpse Decision. Dot. Choose three, leave the sect smoothly, and reward Qi Yu with the Demon Way Scripture. Dot. God Level Selection System. Choose one out of three. Qin Lan saw this and said to herself, This is quite interesting. Based on the options and rewards given, it's not much different. But based on my current situation, I choose the third one. With his personality, he would never plead for mercy let alone lead troops to destroy Mao Shan. Mao Shan. Overall, there is a nurturing grace for him. And Mao Shan expelled him only because he had practiced magic skills. So, only the third option remains. Next, he took a step forward and edited with both hands, this is the last time I call you master. Thank you for helping me, master. Starting today, I will immediately go down the mountain. You don't need to plead for me, Qin will definitely remember today's feelings. The voice is resounding and powerful, making a resounding sound. The words are plain, but the words exude determination. As soon as these words were spoken, the long-lost sound of the system echoed in my mind again. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Qi Yu magic technique. The Demon Road Classic Ha upon hearing this sound, Qin Lan exhaled her turbid breath and muttered to herself, the magic scripture. Finally, I have obtained it. The technique that can make Qi Yu the demon god cultivate is absolutely powerful. I am really looking forward to it. What kind of change will this magic function bring to me? In his impression, Qi Yu is a great demon god, a demon that can make all beings in the three realms afraid. In the future, when practicing Qi Yu's magic skills, it is believed that his cultivation will make rapid progress. Qin Lan, do you just want to leave so smoothly? Just as he was pondering to himself, Chi Jian, who was thin in stature and had a hooked eagle face and nose, stood up with a gloomy face and said coldly, You are practicing magic skills. According to the rules of the sect, you should be abolished from cultivation and expelled from the sect. Oh. Upon hearing this, Qin Lan looked up at Shi Jian and asked with great interest, Master has never spoken or mentioned abolishing my cultivation. Just because you want to abolish my cultivation. Do you have this ability? If you have the courage, come forward and see if I can waste you, or if you can waste me. Although the voice is light, the words are full of killing intent. Shi Jian felt such a terrifying killing intent, 
and his eyes showed fear. He was so scared that he stepped back a few steps. Fortunately, there was a wooden chair behind him that collided with it, which made him stop. Qin Lan. This is an outstanding disciple of the Mao Shan sect, whose cultivation far exceeds that of any disciple, and his fighting consciousness is also super strong. Especially when killing evil spirits and zombies, the methods displayed are ruthless and ruthless. Because of this, Qin Lan was both respectful and fearful among the disciples of the Mao Shan sect. With just one sentence, directly repelling Shi Jian is enough to show Qin Lan's prestige. At this moment, Shi Jian lowered his head and remained silent, afraid to face Qin Lan directly. This scene fell into the eyes of Ling Xu Dao Chang, causing him to sigh. A hint of melancholy suddenly appeared in his cloudy eyes. Among the disciples of Mao Shan, only Qin Lan can withstand the great responsibility. Nowadays, in order to maintain the reputation of the Mao Shan sect, it can only be expelled from the sect. This forced him to do it. Immediately after, Ling Xu Taoist waved his hand and said, Qin Lan, hurry up and leave. You should have abolished your cultivation due to practicing magic skills, and then drove you out. However, I haven't completely abolished your cultivation. This is for the sake of your father. In the future, you are not allowed to mention it outside. You are a disciple of the Mao Shan sect. Okay, Qin must remember, Qin Lan said. After saying these words, clean and neat, he turned around and walked towards the outside of the palace, heading straight towards the foot of the mountain. At this moment, many disciples of Mao Shan looked at Qin Lan's receding figure, all expressing regret and sorrow. Hey, senior brother Qin Lan, what exactly is he thinking? Why do he have to cultivate magic skills? With his talent, he will definitely become a pillar of the Mao Shan sect in the future. Che, you don't understand now, do you? Senior Qin Lan, how can you see the Mao Shan sect? Don't forget, Senior Qin Lan's father is the Grand Marshal of Zhongzhou, and he will be the Grand Marshal of Zhongzhou. Now that he has been driven down the mountain, he will definitely return to Zhongzhou to become his Grand Marshal. Don't envy me, let's practice hard and strive for the path of enlightenment. Perhaps. In the future, when traveling down the mountain and experiencing Zhongzhou, we can meet again with senior brother Qin Lan. While many disciples of Mao Shan were discussing, Shi Jian quietly came to the Lingxu Taoist and made a compilation with both hands. He respectfully said, Master, with Qin Lan's character, you can drive him down the mountain. In the future, when he achieves great magic skills, he will come to seek revenge. Master, we cannot raise tigers as a threat. Little did he know that after he finished speaking, Lingxu Taoist lowered his head to look at Shi Jian, his eyes showing a hint of disappointment, and asked calmly, Do you think Qin Lan would be such a person? Yes, Shi Jian said firmly. Do you know why there is a gap between you and Qin Lan? Ah. Master, what do you mean by this? The only difference between me and Qin Lan is in cultivation. If he hadn't started six months earlier than me, I believe my cultivation would have far surpassed him. Pop as the words fell, Ling Xu Taoist patted Shi Jian's shoulder and said earnestly, Shi Jian, your heart is unstable. Go to the Wall of Thunder Cliff for a year. What? Thunder Cliff. Shi Jian felt as if he had been struck by lightning and was momentarily stunned in place. This. Master, I. Before he could finish speaking, Ling Xu Taoist turned around and left, his back resembling a withered old man, revealing desolation. Many disciples of Mao Shan did not plead for mercy on behalf of Shi Jian. Perhaps this is the difference between Shi Jian and Qin Lan. P.S. Kneeling for the support of readers with big flowers and evaluation tickets, kneeling for everything, kneeling for everything, kneeling for everything. 003 Shiron Werewolf, Becoming a Demon with His Physical Body. Seeking Collection. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. At night, the stars shine brightly. Zhongzhou. The Shui Mansion. Roar Roar in the Courtyard 
suddenly the sound of gold and iron resounded. Looking for the sound, a werewolf with a beast-like body and human face, crimson eyes, and covered in scars was imprisoned in the iron cage. Despite being seriously injured and unable to move, its claws tightly grasped the fence, and its throat roared in waves. Bloodthirsty. Resentment. At this moment, it permeates all around. Outside the iron cage stood a burly middle-aged man with a calm and calm gaze, facing the insane werewolf. His name is Qin Xinghe, and he is the commander.in.chief of Zhongzhou. Does this werewolf spit out useful information? Recently, werewolves have frequently appeared on the Zhongzhou border. In response, border soldiers seized a werewolf and quietly transported it to the Grand Marshal's mansion for interrogation. At this moment, a soldier wearing a uniform and carrying a long spear stood by the iron cage, swung his whip and struck the werewolf's claws, leaving bloodstains visible. The werewolf remained unmoved, with crimson eyes fixed on Qin Xinghe. In response, the soldier held a bayonet and stabbed the werewolf in the eye, which caused the werewolf to take a few steps back. Then, the soldier turned to face Qin Xinghe and respectfully said, Marshal, this werewolf has a very tough mouth. No matter what kind of torture he uses, he doesn't reveal any useful information. I wonder if he can actually speak human language. Upon hearing this, Qin Xinghe looked up into the werewolf's eyes and said word by word, since you're not opening your mouth, then throw it into the pond and feed the crocodile. The voice was plain, but the words were filled with murderous intent. After speaking, turn around and leave. As soon as these words were spoken, the soldier quickly responded, Yes, I will follow the instructions of the Grand Marshal. Someone, carry the iron cage and take this werewolf to the crocodile pool. Bang dang bang dang then, a soldier walked in line, carrying an iron cage towards the crocodile pool in the backyard of the handsome mansion. Roar roar not far away, the werewolf howled up to the sky, revealing sharp fangs. His body swelled up, splattering a terrifying aura, and his fur grew longer. Waving his claws, the iron cage was torn and shattered, instantly knocking the soldier away. His body suddenly kicked off the ground, leaped forward, and swung his claws towards Qin Xinghe. Claw in the air. A light blue light cuts through the pitch black night sky. This scene only happened in an instant, and the nearby guards didn't react. They could only exclaim loudly, be careful, general. The werewolf's claws are poisonous, don't be caught easily. Marshal, quickly dodge, why are you so stunned? Hurry up. Shoot quickly and give Marshal a chance to react. Qin Xinghe was like a rock, motionless, staring straight at the approaching werewolf and muttering to himself, with such strong resilience, he broke his muscles and bones, and was able to recover to his original state in a short period of time. I didn't realize it just now. I have to say. At this moment, Qin Xinghe had a new understanding of werewolves. Bloodthirsty. Terrifying resilience. And strong resilience. The werewolf's injury must have recovered long ago, but in order to get close to him, he pretended to endure the pain of torture and sought a timely opportunity to kill him. However, you want to kill me. Your idea can only be said to be too foolish. Since that's the case, then you don't need to live anymore. As he spoke, his toes touched the ground and he rushed forward at lightning speed, passing over the werewolf's body. Click werewolf claws. Cut it off. My body was directly cut by my lazy waist. Blood splattered everywhere, flesh and blood blurred. Without enough breath, the ferocious werewolf died. After finishing these tasks, Qin Xinghe wiped the blood from his hands and said calmly, Someone, pass on my command and order the border guards to kill any werewolves they encounter without consulting. Nua, I will abide by the order of the Grand Marshal. Nua, I will abide by the order of the Grand Marshal. Step by step step by step at this moment, the deputy officer in uniform ran anxiously until he reached Qin Xinghe, and then stopped walking. General Qi, it's not good. What's wrong? General Qin Xinghe asked. 
the young commander was directly expelled from the mountain for practicing the forbidden magic skills of the Maoshan sect. Oh! Upon hearing this, Qin Xingha asked with great interest, was he expelled from the mountain? Has his cultivation been abolished? That's not true. If Mao Shan Nayanos dares to abolish my son's cultivation, then I will definitely crush his entire Mao Shan sect. Although the words were plain, as he spoke, a sudden and terrifying aura erupted, indicating the position of Qin Lan in his mind. Since Lanar has already descended the mountain, prepare to welcome his return. Yes, General. Ah Peng Ah Peng hundreds of kilometers away, inside a car covered in mud, Qin Lan suddenly sneezed a few times, rubbed her nose, and muttered to herself, Yeah, I sneezed several times along the way. I don't know who's thinking of me. What about him? Anyway, there are still over 500 kilometers left before I get home. When I get home, I have to take a good shower and find a few beautiful girls to massage and enjoy the beauty of this world. While speaking, press the accelerator hard. Car. Accelerate again. In fact, since he left the Maoshan sect, he first found an inn and immediately became familiar with the God Level Selection system. After familiarizing oneself with the system, one will review and practice the obtained magic scriptures. It has to be said that this Mo Dao Jing is truly powerful and a magic skill that can be cultivated both internally and externally. When it attracts the evil energy from heaven and earth into the body, it transforms the evil energy into the evil energy, and nourishes the eight extraordinary meridians. In addition, the cultivation of evil energy enhances his physical fitness at a rate that doubles. According to the Mo Dao Jing, on the day of completion of cultivation, one can become a demon in the flesh and be reborn with drops of blood. Qin Lan firmly believes in such a description. Because, during the cultivation of this magic scripture, only one night of cultivation was enough to withstand more than ten days of cultivation in the past, especially with an unparalleled power of demonic energy. This kind of cultivation is suitable for him to cultivate. After completing her cultivation, Qin Lan also purchased a sedan in the local town as a means of transportation and prepared to go home. A car. For others, this may be a luxury item. For Qin Lan, the son of the Grand Marshal of Zhongzhou, this is just a daily item. At this moment, Qin Lan was driving wildly on the mountain road. Splashing of soil. Enjoying the pleasure brought by speed. Readers must read, readers must read, readers must read. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Describe the division of realms. Refining body realm, gathering qi realm, condensing yuan realm, heavenly gang realm, and wanxiang realm on the first day, I will update seven chapters, and then update five chapters on time every day. Of course. If readers greatly want me to update more, I will cast flowers and evaluation votes. Don't give me any tips. Just keep some and read more books. Tell me about the update rules. On the first day, if the number of flowers reaches 1000, there will be 500 evaluation votes, and an additional two chapters will be added. On the basis of 1000 flowers, add an additional 1000 in a chapter. On the basis of 500 evaluation tickets, add an additional 801 more ticket. Comment building reaches 100, add one more page. And this book, regardless of whether the data is good or bad, the author will continue to write. Because of what? Because the author is a fan of zombie movies. In addition to zombies, he also likes to watch thrilling TV dramas, such as Wu Xian. The Monster Killer, Soul Fairy, and Tomb Robbers. In this summary, it is found that they were all from the Warlord era and can be connected together. So, I finally prepared to write a book, which can be considered as fulfilling my dream. In fact, the author is still a student. New Year's Day has already been closed, and it is tentatively set aside for three months. During this holiday, he wants to make some money by writing books. During this period, the author worked hard to improve. However, readers can rest assured that once school starts, 
they also have plenty of time to write books, so there is no need to worry about the issue of updates. Finally, kneel down and ask for the great support of the readers. 004A Palm, A Sweet Date, The Art of Controlling People You are listening at NovelFull.audio Zhongzhou, Xinlan City Click click a car covered in mud rushed at an extremely fast speed and suddenly came to a stop as it approached the city gate. The speed is too fast, and when braking, the tires rub violently against the ground, emitting a pungent burnt smell. Fortunately, it stopped steadily and did not harm anyone. The person driving is Qin Lan. Qin Lan held onto the steering wheel and looked at the towering city wall and the words, Xin Lan, on it. He raised his eyebrows lightly and murmured to himself, I've finally arrived home. I haven't been home for almost a year. I wonder what's happening at home. Has the fish pond that my father is planning to build been completed? If it's built, then I need to fully experience the fun of fishing. He practices in Maoshan and spends all his time in the Maoshan sect, except for returning home during the spring festival. That is to say, there are only a few days of vacation within a year. Now, after being expelled from the Maoshan faction, he will live in Zhongzhou in the future, which makes him deeply moved. As he spoke, he slowly stepped on the accelerator and headed towards the city. As he passed by the city gate checkpoint, a soldier carrying a standard long gun reached out and stopped the car covered in mud in front of him. Sir, please show me your identification. This soldier is well aware that those who can own a car are either wealthy or expensive. Generally, such a car is usually released and will not be too difficult for the other party. The car in front of me is covered in mud. This made him feel suspicious. Click Click Chin Lan also cooperated very well with this, rolled down the car window, took out his ID from his pocket and handed it to the other person, casually asking, Why haven't you seen Lao Zhuo? Usually, isn't he on duty at this time? Lao Zhuo, named Wang Zhuo, is the chief inspector of the East City Gate. Every time I come back, I can meet Wang Zhuo, who can both talk and do things. Over time, I become familiar with him. The soldier took the document and said bluntly, Station Master Wang Zhuo has been promoted. He is now responsible for the economic order in the Western City area. This is a fat job, and I envy him so much. Oh. Promoted. That's quite good. Of course, that's good. It's said that he has climbed onto the relationship with General Qin Lan. Otherwise, how could he be promoted? Before the soldiers could finish speaking, their voice suddenly stopped, as if their throat was being choked and they couldn't speak. Just because he opened the document in front of him. On the document, there are two big characters written in all. Qin Lan. On this document, there is also a special seal of the Grand Marshal's office. Gollum the soldier swallowed his saliva hard upon seeing this and quickly handed back his identification documents with both hands. He respectfully said, I don't know if the Marshal has returned, but I hope he can blame me. I, I. At this moment, he stuttered and spoke incoherently due to being too excited. Qin Lan took the document and waved her hand. It's okay, I just came back suddenly. You can continue with the routine check, it won't waste your time. Yes, yes, Marshal, please wait a moment. Then, at the instruction of the soldier, several soldiers moved the fence blocking the city gate and made way for the road leading to the city. Regarding this, Qin Lan released the brakes, shifted gears, and was about to step on the accelerator when the soldier came out of the window, frowning and asking, Marshal, I see your car is so dirty. Otherwise, you can drive your army car back and leave it here. I'll wash it clean for you and then send it back to you. During the conversation, there was a hint of anticipation and excitement. Marshal. This is General Zhongzhou. With an ordinary soldier like him, how could he have the opportunity to come into contact with a character like the Marshal? In his eyes, the Grand Marshal is equivalent to the former Crown Prince. Now, he has to perform well. As long as he can be appreciated by the young commander, 
he can also be promoted and receive a salary increase like Wang Zhuo. Qin Lan heard this, how could she not know the other person's thoughts? Qin Lan looked directly at the soldier and asked, If you wash my car, who is on duty? If something happens, can you afford it? Unauthorized dereliction of duty is subject to military law enforcement, ranging from severe punishment of 30 slabs to direct execution. Although the voice is light, it does not anger or intimidate oneself. Suddenly, a cold breath rose from the soles of the soldier's feet to the top of his head, causing him to sweat profusely, wetting his collar. On this hot afternoon, he felt a chill. Just because General Qin Lan's simple words made him hover between life and death. Xiao. Xiao Shuai, I. Pop before he could finish speaking, Qin Lan took out a cigarette from the car and casually stuffed it into the soldier's pocket in front of him. He patted the other person's shoulder and whispered, Your kindness is well received, but you must stick to your position. Here's the cigarette for you, and you'll distribute a few to your brothers. Upon hearing these words, the soldier touched his cigarette pocket again, nodding his head like a chicken pecking at rice. Yes, Major, what the Major said is right. I have not considered my humble position well. Please rest assured, Major. I will definitely fulfill my duties and stand firmly in my position. I will not allow bad people to easily enter or exit the city. Please rest assured, Major. Qin Lan nodded in satisfaction, rolled up the car window, stepped on the accelerator, and drove straight into the city. A slap. A sweet date. A very simple technique for managing people. In this way, it perfectly bought people's hearts. At this moment, the soldier touched the pocket containing the cigarette and looked at the figure of General Qin Lan's car gradually moving away, showing an excited smile. Brothers, General Qin has sent us cigarettes, come. Come, one for each person, he said. Only children make choices, and I want everything. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Wow! The Xinglan brand cigarettes are exclusively supplied by the handsome mansion and cannot be bought outside. We've been exposed to them this time. Yes, young Marshall can give us this cigarette. If we smoke it in front of other comrades, we will definitely envy them. No, I have to keep this cigarette for good. Deputy Webmaster, could you please give us a few more? The young commander gave you a box, so you just have one with us. This is too stingy, isn't it? Get lost, get lost. Don't get your mind on the smoke, quickly stand up on your guard. We can't afford any mistakes. Immediately after, the soldiers at these checkpoints gathered their spirits and eagerly checked the documents of the people entering and leaving the city, not daring to slack off at all. The reason why they are so dedicated is because of Marshal Qin Lan's box of cigarettes. In their eyes, this smoke is a symbol of glory. That's the capital to boast to other comrades in arms. Little did they know that all of this had already been seen by the military officer not far away. They turned around and came to the Grand Marshal's mansion, personally reporting to General Qin what had happened outside the city. Ha, huh, this kid does have some skills. At a young age, he is so skilled in managing people. Upon learning this, General Qin Xinghe smiled heartily. It seems that in the Maoshan sect, Lanar is also very easy going and has made many strange people and scholars. In this way, even though he was expelled by the Maoshan sect, he could still recruit strange warriors for his use in the future. Between the words, there was a hint of pride and comfort. As a father, where doesn't one want their child to have success? Otherwise, how could he send Qin Lan to the Maoshan sect and learn a skill? The officer beside him nodded repeatedly and said, Major Qin Lan has exceptional talent. In the Maoshan faction, he is also a top-notch genius. However, Major Qin Lan can handle people and things calmly, and he will definitely become a career in the future. This is thanks to the guidance of the Grand Marshal, and it is also because of the bloodline of the Grand Marshal that Qin Lan has flowed through. As the saying goes, a thousand clothes are worth wearing, only flattery is not worn. 
This officer is also a senior flatterer. He does not directly flatter the Grand Marshal, but indirectly praises him by praising Qin Lan. This statement greatly pleased General Qin Xinghe. Laner, he's still too young. He's only 15 years old now, and he needs some exercise to take over some things. Now that Laner has just returned, let him enjoy it. We'll talk about things in the future. The handsome and wise, the adjutant nodded in agreement then, General Qin Xing had turned his head and asked, By the way, Deputy Lu, how did you prepare for what I asked you to do? Everything is ready, just wait for the marshal to come back. Okay, then follow me and sweep the dust for Lawner. Yes, General. De Shui Mansion. Brand new sedans were arranged in a queue, and looking around, there were over twenty of them. Each car relied on a maid with a tall figure, delicate features, and wearing a chipao, revealing Baija's thighs. Sinking fish and falling geese, closing the moon and blushing flowers. I believe that's exactly what was said. Um, Qin Lan had just arrived at her doorstep when she saw the scene before her and was momentarily stunned. Sleeping trough. What's going on here? Is it possible that his cheap father is choosing an aunt? Qin Lan walked leisurely, pondering inwardly. Just as they took a few steps, the twenty or so maids placed their hands on their waists, bowed and saluted, shouting in unison, Welcome back home, Marshal. Pai Li Pa Pai Li Pa Pai Li Pa Immediately afterwards, a series of firecrackers rang out inside the handsome mansion. The smell of gunpowder and piercing white smoke permeated the surroundings. Immediately after, the gate of the handsome mansion was slowly pushed open. The guards of the handsome mansion led by General Qin Xingha walked out slowly. When they saw Qin Lan, they also shouted in unison, Welcome back home, Major Marshal. Immediately after, Qin Xingha approached Qin Lan and pointed to the brand new sedan and beautiful maid, smiling, Lan Air, welcome you home. Um upon seeing this, Qin Lan smiled bitterly and said, Good guy, I knew I was coming back long ago. This is the rhythm that keeps me going. In fact, he also knew. That his father's intention was nothing more than to comfort him about being expelled from the Maoshan sect. As he spoke, he glanced at the brand new car and the girl in the car and joked, Father, is this greeting too vulgar for you? As he spoke, his voice suddenly paused. Then, a strange smile slipped from the corner of his mouth and he casually said, However, I really like it. As soon as these words were spoken, Qin Lan and Qin Xingha exchanged a glance, both understanding the meaning of each other's gaze. The next second, they looked at each other and smiled. Laner, these are all prepared for you. If you like a car, you can drive whichever one you like. The implication is that besides this car, any maid who is interested in it will also be taken away. Upon hearing these words, Qin Lan's mind did conjure up a divine level selection system. System. It provides only one option to choose from. Nowadays, why do we have to choose in the real world? So Qin Lan chuckled and said, Father, only children do multiple dot choice questions, and I need them all. All you want. Twenty or so cars. Twenty or so maids. He wants it all. Um this statement left General Qin Xingha stunned. Obviously, this answer was beyond his expectations. However, I quickly realized it. Bang then, Qin Xingha hammered Qin Lan's shoulder and scolded with a smile, you're even more greedy than me, but since you like it, it's all yours. 006 Magic Silkworm Pupa, Go to Ghost Crying Ridge. Seeking Collection. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Qin Lan readily accepted this and said, Thank you very much for your father's success. He really likes cars. Otherwise, how could they buy a car alone and drive it back in person after being sent from Maoshan? However, the road conditions were too muddy, leaving the brand new sedan covered in rust. Besides the car, of course we have to count beautiful women. A fragrant car. Beauty. Are these all men's favorites? Why are we so polite? 
Let's go home. General Qin Xingha patted Qin Lan's shoulder and said calmly, I have prepared a banquet for you. Tonight, you must accompany me to have a good drink. Don't worry about any Maoshan sect or anything. Okay. Qin Lan readily agreed. Immediately after, Qin Lan and General Qin Xingha walked side by side, stepping into the mansion together. As a result, firecrackers rang out in unison, creating a lively atmosphere. In fact, at the moment Qin Lan stepped back to the handsome mansion, another exciting part of his life was about to begin. Mao Shan sect. In the near future, I will also regret what they have done. Shui Mansion. Ha <laughs> ha, after drinking with her father, Qin Lan returned to the house and did not lie directly in bed to sleep. Instead, she forced the wine out. After waking up from drinking, he sat cross-legged and began practicing the Qi Yu magic technique. The Demon Road Classic. In his body. Wisps of black energy emanated, all of which were pure demonic energy. The demonic energy was constantly being cultivated within the body. This is exactly the uniqueness of the Magic Tao Sutra. I saw the demonic energy gathering around Qin Lan, like a silkworm pupa, lurking and waiting for an opportunity to break through the pupa and emerge. Between breaths, the silkworm pupae open and close one by one. This is exactly the phenomenon of the second layer of the magic scripture. This silkworm pupa, is exactly the magic silkworm. When the silkworm pupa breaks through and emerges, it is precisely when Qin Lan breaks through to Ningyuan. After an unknown amount of time, Qin Lan slowly opened his eyes and the magic silkworm, condensed from the demonic energy slowly dispersed, transforming into demonic energy and surging into his body again. At this moment, a huge system screen suddenly appeared in front of me. Host. Qin Lan Age. 15 Physical Fitness. Extreme Physical Limit, Evolvable, Technique. Demon Road Classic Cultivation. Gathering Qi Peak Skills. Demonized Mao Shan Spell, Soul Destruction Spell, Heavenly Demon Finger, and Fierce Spirit Spell. Item. None Task. None at this moment, Qin Lan looked at the attribute panel and couldn't help but sigh, muttering to himself, Almost, almost, we can break through. At this point, his cultivation has reached the ninth level of Qi cultivation. Just one step away, you can break through to the Ningyuan realm that sorcerers dream of. In this zombie world, whether it is a warrior, a Taoist, or a cultivator, there is a unified realm, from low to high, which is the refining body realm, gathering qi realm, condensing yuan realm, heavenly gang realm, and universal realm. The refining realm is divided into twelve layers, and the qi gathering realm is divided into nine layers. Only after reaching the Ningyuan realm can there be early, middle, and late stages. In this world, the heavenly gang realm belongs to rare and few strong ones, while the condensing Yuan realm can be considered a true strong one. Now, Qin Lan has half-stepped into the realm of Ningyuan. This is equivalent to squeezing half of the body into the ranks of the strong. Among the entire Maoshan sect, many disciples are the most powerful, barely reaching the level of gathering qi in the triple heaven. Looking at the entire world of sorcerers, no sorcerer can break through to the Ningyuan realm before the age of 20. Now, at the age of only 15, Qin Lan is already halfway through her life. It can be seen that his demonic talent. If this matter is spread, it will definitely cause a huge uproar. Just a little short, and the only difference is the lack of pure in sha qi. It seems that we need to find a place where in things gather. The Magic Scripture This martial art is domineering, and the cultivation of the heavenly demon qi also comes with the attribute of devouring. Whether it is corpse qi, demon qi, or in sha qi, it can be devoured and transformed into heavenly demon qi for personal use. Nowadays, if you want to break through the current state in a short period of time, you can only consume more corpse and ghost energy. Immediately after, Qin Lan slowly stood up and walked to the window. He pushed open the window and looked at the mountain peak far away from the handsome mansion, whispering, 
it seems necessary to go to Goy Wailing Ridge. I hope you don't disappoint me. Ghost Crying Ridge is located in a remote mountain range 300 kilometers southwest of Xinglan City. According to legend, this place was once an ancient battlefield, and corpses were buried in the mountains. Every night when the moon is full, the piercing sound of ghost crying and wolf howling is often heard. Ghosts Zombie Ghost Crying Ridge is full of existence. Over time, the residents of nearby towns regarded this place as a forbidden area, and after moving out, they named this mountain Range Gue Wailing Ridge. Ghost Crying Ridge This belongs to the territory of Zhongzhou. The Grand Marshal once sent people to enter the Ghost Crying Ridge, but they all returned defeated and suffered losses. Since then, the Grand Marshal has also abandoned this area. Over time, Gue Wailing Ridge became a forgotten place. But whether it's merchants or military training, they will choose to bypass and not set foot here. Now, Qin Lan is willing to take risks to break through the Ningyuan realm. Because he firmly believed that there would be a place of extreme yin in Gui Wailing Ridge that could help him cultivate. Thinking through all of this, Qin Lan simply packed her bags and wrote a letter to place in front of the bed. Not long after returning, I hurriedly left. Both emotions and reason require greeting family members and informing them of their whereabouts. After finishing these tasks, I selected a suitable off-road vehicle from the courtyard, set it on fire, and took advantage of the darkness to head towards Gui Wailing Ridge. P.S. Kneeling for the support of readers with big flowers and evaluation tickets, kneeling for everything, kneeling for everything, this has been updated in six chapters. Tomorrow there will be at least six more chapters to be updated. Anyway, there's nothing to do at home. Sitting in front of the computer, slowly updating. Your support is exactly what motivates me. 007 Weasel seeks a seal. Do you want steamed or red? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Late at night. Only seven or eight miles away from Gui Wailing Ridge, Qin Lan was driving on a small mountain road. Due to the muddy road, the tires ran over the road, causing severe bumps, which made Qin Lan feel frustrated while driving. This bumpy road is incomparable to the road of my past life. Fortunately, my recent cultivation of the Demon Road Classic has slightly enhanced my physical fitness. Otherwise, this bumpy feeling would be too. Too torturous. The car is bumping. The lights are also shaking. On this pitch black night road, it looks extremely dazzling. Since the departure of the Grand Marshal's mansion, it has been driving for three hours at a high speed. Now, it's already three o'clock in the morning. Two hours earlier, dawn is about to break. That is to say, Qin Lan must reach the ghost crying ridge within two hours, otherwise, when the sun rises, all the evil spirits will hide. We'll have to wait an extra day. Thinking of this, Qin Lan pressed the accelerator hard again. Bang dang at this moment, the car suddenly hit a hard object, and the front windshield shattered instantly under the impact. Fortunately, when the glass broke, Qin Lan operated the Demon Road Sutra, and a terrifying demonic aura suddenly burst out. Suddenly, these glasses were blown apart. Mad, what's going on? Why did you drop the chain at a critical moment? I wanted to rush in time, but who could have thought of it, but I collided with an unknown object, which caused damage to the car. When he got off the car to look, he saw the front of the car hit a huge rock, the front of the car had been sunken, and the front bumper was even more dilapidated. Due to the huge impact, the car tire has blown out. If the car is repaired in this situation, it will take at least one or two hours. Qin Lan looked around at the vast wilderness, with no steep peaks nearby, but there was an extra boulder on the road. This can only be said to have been intentionally left on the road by someone. When Qin Lan thought of this, he kicked the car door hard and cursed, mad, who put a stone on this. If I know who it is, I must have the other party give me the car to resist and return to, Hexingen City. Now, the car has broken down and we can only walk towards Gui Wailing Ridge on foot. 
Then, Qin Lan took out spare things from the car, packed them up, and put them on his shoulder, ready to walk. At this moment, a hoarse and piercing sound came from ahead. Young man, do you think I look like a person or a god? Looking for the sound, a yellow weasel stood up with claws like a human resting on its chest, its green eyes fixed on Qin Lan. At this moment, the weasel was shrouded in a black aura, revealing yellow fangs that had not been brushed for a long time while speaking. This scene appears somewhat eerie. Hmm. Upon seeing this, Qin Lan instantly understood what she had encountered. When things like mountain spirits and wild monsters need to be cultivated into true fruits, they must block the way and seek help from others, which is called seeking titles. Now, in front of me is the weasel. So, this is also known as the weasel seeking a seal. It asks, like a person. Still like a god. If you want to answer, like a person, its cultivation will be compromised. In this way, the next days will be haunted by the other person and bad luck will occur. A series of strange things will happen until the other person is killed, and then it will be abandoned. If you want to answer, like a god, it will become, immortal but the person who answers it will also die. That's because it stole the opponent's luck and became an immortal, which will kill them. Whether it's answering, like a person or like a god, it's not beneficial for ordinary people. At this moment, a long-lost sound of the system came to Qin Lan's mind. Ding, congratulations to the host for randomly triggering the system task. The task options have been sent, please ask the host to make a choice. Then, a huge screen appeared before his eyes. Choose one, answer the yellow weasel, like a human, obtain a magic building pill, and successfully break through the chi gathering realm. Option two, answer the weasel, like a god, obtain a magic weapon, summon a soul banner, store ghosts, and use it for oneself. Option three, ask the weasel, do you want steamed or braised to obtain a magical body? An indestructible magical body that can transform into a mortal body and complement the magical scripture. Hmm. Qin Lan furrowed her eyebrows when she saw this. The rewards behind these options are all very tempting. However, after a relative comparison, Qin Lan is prepared to choose the third one. Building Magic Pill. Although this can quickly break through to the coagulation state, it is only a solution to the current dilemma. Magic tools. You can get it all in the future. Only this immortal demon body can help him escape from the mortal world. As long as he implants the immortal demon body, his strength will definitely increase rapidly. With the support of the immortal demon body, breaking through the condensing Yuan realm is only a matter of time. This is the long dot term benefit. Moreover, answering like a human like a god is not beneficial. Especially, the stone hit by his car may have been caused by a weasel, and if that's the case, he won't let the other party go. Just as Qin Lan was pondering to himself, the weasel seemed impatient and asked hoarsely again, Young man, do you think I look like a person or a god? Pop as soon as the words fell, a strong slap hit its face. Bang suddenly, the body of the weasel was like a flying shell, flying straight backwards. During the process of flying backwards, its fangs splattered and scattered on the ground. This may be the legendary search for teeth on the ground. Until it collided with a nearby soil slope, creating a huge deep pit. Then, Qin Lan's magnetic questioning voice came to the ears of the weasel, then I'll ask you, do you want steamed or braised? P.S. Kneeling for the support of readers with big flowers and evaluation tickets, kneeling for everything, kneeling for everything. 008 Innate Demon Body, Immortal Demon Body Second Change You are listening at Novel Full Audio. As Qin Lan finished speaking, a familiar system sound echoed in her mind. Ding, congratulations to the host for choosing three and obtaining an indestructible demon body. Ding, the immortal demon body is being implanted. Please wait for the host. Upon hearing this, Qin Lan smiled and said to herself, Immortal Demon Body. I hope you don't disappoint me, but let's see. 
what kind of change can this bring me? This is what I am extremely looking forward to. Mortal body. Congenital demon body. The two are far apart. When Qin Lan was at the limit of his mortal body, his cultivation speed was not slow. After implanting a demonic body, his physique transformed into an indestructible demonic body. Combined with the Demon Road Classic, it is believed that in the future, his cultivation journey will be smooth sailing and natural. In fact, the reason why Qin Lan works so hard to cultivate is also to prove that the path she has chosen is correct. What about demons? In this zombie world, only strong strength is the foundation of speech. Do Dao and Mo not stand at odds? That's pure farting. In this chaotic world, only a hard fist is the hard truth. Cough cough at this moment, the weasel coughed violently and slowly stood up, rubbing the area being stirred, causing a murmur in its heart. Sleeping trough. What kind of person did you meet today? Why is it so irritable? It didn't do much, but was directly slapped by the other party. Especially when I heard the bizarre words, steamed or brazed. At that moment, my heart was already engulfed in anger. Then, the weasel looked up at the young man in front of him and said coldly, Young man, what do I ask you? Do you think I look like a person or a god? The voice is hoarse and harsh. At this point, it has become completely impatient. It has been practicing for decades, and now it only needs a slight opportunity to become an immortal, which cannot be missed. The only hope is in the other person. As long as the other party answers like a god, it can become immortal. Of course, Xian is not a true immortal, but has broken through to the condensation period, and there is still a long way to go before the true Xian. Otherwise, how can a true immortal be influenced by human fate? Qin Lan lowered her head to look at the weasel that only reached her waist and chuckled, Then I'll ask you, do you want steamed or braised? With these words, the weasel's last patience was worn away. His eyes turned red and he rebuked, Damn it, you've completely angered me. Today, I have to suck you dry. As the words fell, the weasel turned into black mist and disappeared into place in an instant. The next second, it came eerily behind Qin Lan, stretched out its fangs and claws towards Qin Lan's neck, and suddenly pounced. The evil aura is chilling. Black mist shrouded in mist. This is a decisive blow. Anyone bitten by a weasel will surely die. But the next moment, Qin Lan's figure also mysteriously disappeared. What? It's gone. This scene fell into the eyes of the weasel and made it exclaim in surprise. Speed. This is too fast. Before I could see it clearly, it disappeared. Before it could react, Qin Lan had come behind it, his arm wrapped around the demonic energy, and he pressed down on its head with one hand, suddenly smashing it to the ground. Boom the weasel directly smashed a huge deep pit into the ground. The little weasel, who has not yet broken through the condensation period, dares to pretend to be a great immortal in front of me, it's like seeking death. Bang 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 then, Qin Lan grabbed the back of the weasel's neck and fiercely smashed it onto the ground. Easy. Rough. There are no fancy moves. With each smash, the weasel let out a mournful cry. Big. Big. Big brother, big brother. Stop fighting. Stop fighting, I. I was wrong. I was wrong. Woo woo, don't smash it. I know I was wrong, I dare not. I dare not do it again. I don't know how long it took, but Qin Lan threw the weasel on the ground like garbage. The weasel was covered in blood, with scars all over its body, which was unbearable. In its breath, Bright red blood flowed from the corners of its mouth and eyes. At this moment, Qin Lan temporarily let go of the yellow weasel. It was because of a severe pain and a domineering and unparalleled aura emanating from his body, which suddenly burst out. It is obvious that the immortal demon body constitution has reached its limit. 
Damn it, the implantation of this indestructible demon body is so painful, it's a miscalculation. Qin Lan couldn't handle so much, so she quickly sat cross-legged and quickly operated the Demon Road Sutra. Strands of innate magical energy dissipated and turned into strands of magical silk, once again wrapping Qin Lan in the shape of a silkworm pupa. The Immortal Demon Body Indeed, it is incredibly domineering. When implanted into Qin Lan's body, the bones and flesh were shattered one after another, and his body was like shattered glass with blood slits opening up one after another. Blood. It flowed out through the blood seam. Fortunately, this innate demonic energy has terrifying restorative power. Soon, cracks and scars formed. But the domineering demonic energy once again broke through the scar area, and the innate demonic energy was repaired. Scarring. Rupture. Come and go. I don't know how many times Qin Lan endured the pain, remained silent, and operated the demon scripture. He knows that this is the best opportunity for transformation. No matter how much pain you suffer, you must persevere. The Immortal Demon Body This is an innate demon body. If successfully implanted, the benefits would be beyond imagination. With the implantation of the Immortal Demon Body and the operation of the demon scripture, the magic pupae around the body gradually grow larger, and the aura emitted becomes even more terrifying. Ha ha the demonic energy is raging. Wherever it passes, it lifts up dust and fallen leaves on the ground. Shy, shy, shy shy, shy, shy at this moment, a black giant snake as thick as a bucket of water, spitting out its snake venom, attacked with extremely fast delivery. The cold snake pupils only glanced at the magic pupa wrapped in magic energy. Then, he quickly approached the yellow weasel lying on the ground and muttered, Third brother, what's going on here? How could you have done this? 009 magic pupa transforms into a butterfly, breaking through the realm. Three watches. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Upon hearing this, the weasel slowly opened its eyes and forced itself to sit up. It said bitterly, Second brother, I've encountered some tough issues. As you know, today is the day I seek a ban. From afar, when I saw a car approaching, I brought a stone to block the other side in the middle of the road. I was planning to stop them and then pursue the ban. But who would have thought that this person was even more of a bandit than a bandit, neither answering my questions nor directly slapping my mouth. When did I suffer this injustice? It was only then that I had a murderous intent and was preparing to suck the other party dry. But. The other party is a demon cultivator, and they beat me up like this. Between the words, pitiful and full of grievances. Decades of cultivation, if it is not successfully sealed today, its cultivation will be destroyed once. Upon hearing these words, the black snake's pupils flickered with a hint of brilliance. The snake's tail pointed to the nearby magic pupa and said, Third brother, is that what you're talking about as magic cultivation? The weasel nodded and said, Yes, but for some reason, the other person threw me on the ground and sat me cross-legged on the ground. Then, there was something more like a pupa. At this point, the weasel can be said to be extremely aggrieved. If I had met someone else, I might have been scared unconscious by it long ago, or perhaps turned around and ran away. But it happened to encounter the demon cultivator Qin Lan, without saying a word, and directly beat it up. If it weren't for Qin Lan's encounter with the implantation of the immortal demon body, perhaps Qin Lan would have absorbed the demonic energy long ago and turned it into a dried corpse. Shy, shy, shy at this moment, the black snake spat out its snake venom, wriggling its bucket-sized body. Its cold snake pupils stared at the demonic pupa in front of it, third brother, since the other party is a demon cultivator and contains a majestic demonic energy in his body, it must be beneficial for us to swallow him. Why don't we join forces to kill the other party? The body, half for each person. Demon. Usually, devouring is used to enhance one's own cultivation. As soon as he said this, the weasel shuddered and said, 
second brother, the other party is a powerful demon cultivator, I'm afraid. Obviously, it was afraid of being beaten by Qin Lan. The black snake swung its tail and vigorously patted the weasel, saying coldly, what are you afraid of? The other person's state must have gone crazy, otherwise, how could such a state be? Opportunity cannot be missed, time never comes again. As long as we swallow the other person, our cultivation will definitely improve. If you dare not, I won't divide you when I kill the other person. Between the words, there was a strong sense of killing intent. Just because it sees the magic pupa in front of it, a strong possessiveness arises in its heart, as if a voice is telling it, swallow it, swallow it, there will be endless benefits. Um, upon hearing this, the weasel gazed at the demonic pupa, which emitted a towering aura. Suddenly, it fell into contemplation, and its small eyes flickered. After a while, there was a hint of determination in my eyes. Second brother, okay, let's work together to kill it, but we need to be careful when dealing with it. Okay. Then, with the consultation of the weasel and the black snake, the two prepared to strike with their left and right wings, unleashing a deadly blow. I saw the weasel's body size skyrocket, leaping with sharp claws in the air. Its goal is precisely the head position of the magic pupa. Black snake. Easy. Rough. When the body collides, it sprays out strong venom. A demonic aura permeates. Venom splattered everywhere. The combination of the two is a decisive blow. But just as they attacked and touched the magic pupae, a terrifying suction instantly sucked them into mid-air. At this moment, the demonic power within their bodies was also continuously sucked away. No matter how they struggle, it is of no use. This phenomenon frightened the weasel and black snake into staring in terror and shouting loudly. What? This? What's going on? Damn it, second brother, I. I've been sucked in, and the demonic power inside my body has also been sucked out. Damn it, so am I. This demonic aura is so eerie and domineering. My demonic power is. Surprisingly. Before the black snake could finish speaking, its voice suddenly stopped. Because they have been completely absorbed by the magic energy blood and meat essence. Demonic aura. In the blink of an eye, it turned into wisps of demonic energy that fed back to Qin Lan inside the demonic pupa. At this point, only a complete snake skin and a weasel skin remain on the ground. These two skins have no scars, they are very eerie. After devouring the evil spirit and essence of flesh and blood of black snake and weasel, the pupa grows rapidly with the speed visible to the naked eye. The aura emanating from within the demonic pupa becomes increasingly terrifying. Click click after an unknown amount of time, a crisp sound came from within the magic pupa. Looking for the sound, the demonic pupa cracked open and a jet black butterfly flapped its wings and flew out. Magic butterflies dance in the air. All things wither. This demonic butterfly, transformed by demonic aura, hovered in the sky for a few laps and bent down to rush into Qin Lan's body. Boom suddenly, Qin Lan burst into a terrifying aura. At this moment, Qin Lan successfully broke through to the Ningyuan realm. At this moment, what flowed inside Qin Lan's body was not magic energy, but a continuous stream of magic liquid. The magic liquid merged with the blood, constantly refining his body in bones. How immediately after, Qin Lan opened her eyes and felt the surge of magic fluid in her body, showing a long lost smile. She murmured to herself, I finally broke through. Thanks to this weasel and black snake spirit, how could I easily break through without their assistance? In fact, while refining and fusing the immortal demon body, he can still clearly perceive what is happening outside. Black Snake Spirit The Weasel I listened to the conversation between these two demon cultivators word for word. As the opponent's attack approached, just as they were about to take action, who could have imagined that the immortal demon body would automatically protect the Lord, directly sucking up their flesh and demon energy, 
and feeding them back to oneself, directly breaking through the current realm. Then, Qin Lan bent down to pick up snake skin and weasel skin, chuckled lightly, don't worry, to thank you, I will definitely hire the best tailor in the city to make the best fur coat for you. In this way, we will definitely be able to sell at a good price, which is also worth it to you. If they hear this, their hearts will definitely collapse. Okay. When they live, they suck up their accomplishments and essence of flesh and blood, after death, we don't let them go, we also need to make fur coats. This thing was done too well. P.S. Kneeling for the support of readers with big flowers and evaluation tickets, kneeling for everything, kneeling for everything.